good afternoon from SeaWorld Orlando. We're here today for the start of the Seven Seas Food Festival. They invited us out for a media event. So we're gonna go inside there, have a look around at the reception. Then I think they're gonna let us loose into the park to go around and try as much food as we can. So I hope you guys are ready to see and to experience some of the food around SeaWorld Seven Seas Food Festival. Let's head inside. All right, here we are. We've made it to the media event and it looks like they're doing a cooking demonstration up there right now. But there's also some various so now, foods out and about for us to try. The first thing that we're gonna try is from the veggie market and this is a brand new booth that is a vegetarian booth. So we're gonna do the taco about it with plant-based chorizo, pico de gallo, and lettuce and crema. Ooh, all right, yeah. This looks pretty great. I like the way the sun hits it. Beautiful. All right, let's give it a try here. Um, again, we have... Mm, that's we pretty have tasty. Not a biggest. huge difference between uh, this yeah. and a meat taco. Got kind of a little bit of a spice to it, too. I like this. I would get this again. Very delicious. A little bit of kick to it. A little bit of a kick to it. All right, we've got a couple of items here. One of them is the chicken tikka masala from the Indian market, which is brand new. And then the other one is Walking Euros, which is from the Mediterranean market, which is a returning booth, but this is a new item. It has pita chips, tomatoes, red onions, and tzatziki sauce. And then the chicken tikka masala has tomato cream sauce, peppers, and jasmine rice. And the Walking Euro. So it's kind of like Euro nachos. The meat in here is a lamb and a beef mixed together, like a ground meat. All right, let's try this chicken tikka masala. Oh, I had a fork, but I seem to have lost it. Oh no. Oh no, it's in this pocket. Okay, good. Let's give it a try. I'll get a little bit of rice in there too. Pretty good. Has a very savory flavor to it. Like, but I guess that would be like umami because when you get it, you kind of hit that salivation point as soon as it gets in your mouth. A lot of flavors in there too. But the chicken has a little bit extra to it. I'm not sure what that is, but there's a little bit of extra almost. I don't know if it's like the extra salt on there or something, but it's very tender and it doesn't have as much of the like masala flavor. Oh, this is very good. And the jasmine rice soaks up all the juices really good. So I would get this 100% again, very delicious. I like it a lot. All right, now I have to try to figure out how to get this walking gyro. Like I, the idea is there. I'm gonna just take a piece of lamb meat, lamb beef meat, like gyro meat and a pita chip and try to dip it in some of the tzatziki. Okay, I mean, it's pretty good, but it's strange because of the chips. Like I'm used to having a gyro on a soft pita, but now that I'm eating on crunchy pitas, it's changing the flavor of it completely. This is really interesting. I have to get like a huge, like fork full of this. All right, here's a good bite right here. The tzatziki is very yogurt heavy. And then the onions add another flavor to it. Like that's kind of oniony, like the, the punchiness of a red onion, but these are marinated red onions. So they're not as like, attacky they don't they're not as like like horseradish you know how horseradish opens up your nose and sometimes red onions will do that when you're eating them raw these aren't doing that this is good i like it but like it is different so like if you're used to pitas like if you're a fan of pitas this will be a completely different flavor than what you're used to but it's good here's another new item that is it's, a, it's not a new booth but it is a new item the tempura battered sushi with california roll masago and eel sauce so it's like a little fried sushi roll so this does have crab in it and the last time that i had crab i was probably like 13 and i got really sick so i'm not going to do it again now so i have some examples of the drinks that they have at the festival they have a bailey's cold brew they have a german blood orange mule they have a jalapeno margarita and a mango mojito they also have sharks underwater grill which is not a sample food item but you can get these items off their menu. Sharks Underwater Grill being a sit-down restaurant within the park. And that is the pomegranate mahi-mahi. And then they also have the lobster and shrimp cake, which we don't have any on here. They've got them on the flat top back there. So they have a table over here full of sweet treats for us to try. And some of them, like these two for instance, have alcohol in them. Some of them don't. These right here are bourbon dipped cinnamon rolls topped with bourbon ba bacon and then drizzled with a sauce. I, for one, am gonna be getting one of these guys. Yes. All right, let's give this give this cupcake a try. This is called the Coco Loco because it's a lot of chocolate. Pretty tasty, pretty tasty indeed. I mean, that's good. It is exceptionally large though. So I wouldn't suggest trying to eat this all on your own. Maybe share it with some friends or try to eat it on your own. You can do it. I believe in you. They have some examples of some of the merch too. I like this, we're going with kind of like a vintage styling. Oh yeah, look at this, a denim bag. We love a denim bag. Oh, this is pretty great. 
Oh my goodness. And also, we have Loungefly moving over here to SeaWorld Parks and Resorts with a little sloth bag. How adorable is that? And then they have a, a whole outfit that says Energy Saver. It's got a sloth in it. And then we've got a few more examples of some of the food items from the Polynesian market. We've got the ahi tuna pokey nachos. From the Mexican market, we've got the mojo pork tostones. From the Italian market, we've got the mini calzone. From the French market, which is a new market, we've got the escargot. From the Gulf Coast market, we got the boudin balls. From All American, we've got fried pickles. From the Mexican market, we've got the dulce de leche mini cake. From the North American market, we've got the Boston cream pie. Whoa, look at this. And these are from the Cake Girl, and they have made versions of the food that are entirely desserts. These are not for us. These are just for looking at, and this little cake right here. All right, they have released us out into the park, so we're off to find some more food booths. First stop, Sesame Street Land, because we're going to see if Snuffleupagus is out and about. Actually, first stop might be these, these booths over here in the beer garden. So we found the Mexican market. And this has some returning favorites, but also a new Dolce de Leche mini cake. And as I've said in previous videos, the Dolce de Leche flavor is not my favorite. So we're gonna skip on this one for right now. We'll head over here to the Gulf Coast Market. Okay, so over here at the Gulf Coast Market, we've got some stuff, got new ones and the boudin balls. We're gonna get that for sure. A returning favorite in the Cajun shrimp and grits. And they also have beignets. Ooh, sounds good. We're gonna start with the boudin balls. I just saw you this morning, there's Nick. <laughs> this is a returning favorite, this is the shrimp and grits. Cheddar stone grits, royal red shrimp, andouille sausage, roasted tomatoes, and green peas. That's interesting, they're saying happy birthday to Elmo over there. And then we also have the boudin balls, which are new Cajun rice balls with ground pork and chicken topped with ramelade sauce. Yes, I'm very excited for that one. All right, here's a look at the inside of the boudin balls. You can see there is ground chicken, ground pork, rice, and yeah, that's it. Rice, ground chicken, and ground pork. Let's give a bite here. I'm gonna get some rum on sauce on there. I didn't get it nearly enough of that. Let's get more. All right, it's delicious. Easy to eat, very flavorful. The ramelade has just the right amount of spice to it. It's great, yeah. I would totally order these again. It's like everything you want out of Cajun food wrapped up in a nice little package. How was it? Um, well, judging by what my bowl looks like, it was delicious. I love yeah. shrimp and grits, so I was a huge fan of this dish. I would oh, absolutely yeah. get this again. Totally worth it. Okay. This is also my first time here for the festival, and my first time back at SeaWorld in a couple of years, so I'm excited to be here. There are some coasters that are calling to me. Yeah, we're gonna go on Pipeline today. <sighs> I'm terrified, but I'm oh, excited. It's fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. So we're inside of Sesame Street Land now. They're jamming, there's a DJ in here for Elmo's fifth birthday, or no, the fifth birthday of Sesame Street Land. I feel like Elmo's oh, there's a scavenger hunt. Five. It's pretty great. If you find all eight letters to see what Sesame Street is celebrating, and then I believe the, the, the answer would be birthday that you're looking for, and then you could claim a prize. So over here next to Cookie's Cookie Drop, there's a tent. We're gonna try to meet Snuffleupagus in here. Hi, friends. Hey, Hello, how's it going? Hello. There's Snuffleupagus. Look at that. <laughs> Snuffleupagus, you've been my favorite for a very long time. You're amazing. Wow, is it okay if we. I know, I like that. That's fun. Is it okay if we take a photo together? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That was fantastic. I have met one of my childhood heroes. And you know what they say? They say, don't meet your heroes. That is a lie. Go meet them here at Sesame Street Land. Snuffleupagus, go and meet them. All right, passing by the German market, nothing new here. So we're headed, oh, it's breezy over here from this fan. Heading off to another location. Dockside Pizza Company is brand new, by the way. This used to be an ice cream place and an arcade, I think. And now it is a pizza place. So the thing that's interesting about Dockside Pizza is they have self-checkout. And it's this new kind of technology where you pick up the food and you put it underneath this camera and it automatically recognizes it. See, just put your food underneath there and then it totals it up and you pay for it right here. Wild. The future is now. So over here, the next booth that we came to is the Asian market. And this is where they had the tempura battered sushi, which we saw in the media area. But also, it should be noticed, they have the Bingsu salted caramel ice cream with popcorn and everything all over it. Delicious. Next thing we're coming to is the Indian market. We've got a lot of stuff to try here. Indian funnel cake sounds good. Also, the garlic naan and chickpea curry. 
Can you give it a try? Tomato cream stew, peas and chutney, and then the jalebi, which is Indian funnel cake with wildflower honey. We were talking about this earlier. The prices here seem to be pretty high compared to like Disney or anything, but that's why you want to have the lanyards. This lanyard was provided to us by the media event, but they do have good deals on the lanyards. You can see the best value, $85 for 15 items. So if you math that out, comes out to like about 566, 567 a piece. So you're saving about half on it. But then also if you're an annual pass holder, you get an extra three bonus punches for $85. So you get to save even more. So this item is new this year from the India booth. Well, the whole booth is new. So every item there is new. This is the garlic naan with chickpea curry, tomato cream stew, peas and chutney. And then we also got the jalebi, which is Indian funnel cake with wildflower honey. And that sounds phenomenal. I cannot wait to try this. All right, let's try this. We've got a piece of garlic naan. Much chewier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be crispy. Kind of like chewy. So that was really good. The flavors are really good there. But like I said, the naan itself, very, very chewy. But I like this. Like it's. I could eat this over and over and over again. The outside of it, very crunchy. The center of the naan, very chewy. Savory, kind of sweet a little bit. It's good, a lot of flavors, a lot of action going in there with like a hint of pea. Like a, there is a, a pronounced pea flavor to it. After getting a few bites deep on that curry, it does have a bit of spice to it, but it doesn't stick around for very long at all. So if you are a fan of spice, but don't like the after effects of spice, I think this might be a dish for you. Let's try this funnel cake with honey on it. I feel like, before even trying this, I feel like every funnel cake should just have honey on it rather than powdered sugar. That was a different funnel cake batter than I was imagining. A little bit more savory. And the honey brings it back. I'm not as big of a fan of this as I thought I was going to be. Because it is a little bit more of a savory funnel cake than what I'm used to, like a traditional American funnel cake. Now that's not to say it's not good, because it is good, just not what I was expecting. So over here at the Mediterranean market, we've got the walking gyros, which was new, which we tried, and they were pretty good. The Moroccan grilled lamb chop. We've had like three people come up to us and say, you have to try the lamb chop, which it's not new, so we're not gonna try it today, but we will be coming back on a different occasion to try it. And then a returning favorite, the baklava with phyllo dough and honey walnuts. Next up is the Irish market. This is a new market. We've got St. Patrick's Day nachos with potato chips, corned beef, cheese, and red cabbage. Sounds delicious. And then bangers and mash. And then a Jameson donut too. There's the Jameson donut right there. Look at that, the chocolate like sloughed off of it. Ooh, so what is that? That's like full of Jameson chocolate mousse, chocolate icing, and candy orange. Oh my goodness. Look at those nachos. Those look so, I'm kind of regretting getting the bangers and mash. Although the bangers and mash do look good. This looks like it's where it's at. Oh my goodness gracious. That's a good saying right there. It's where it's at? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm hip with the kids. I'm You're like dab. Kids. Stop it. I'm lit. You did dab earlier. Yeah. It was after a bottle flip. Yeah, did you see? I did the bottle flip and everything. I was, I was it landed. I was embarrassed for Jackson. Oh. <laughs> these, these, uh, these nachos look like they're bussing. Oh no. All right, let's give this a try. Bangers. That is delicious. They said that it was a Guinness sausage. Can't really, well, you can taste that it is a Guinness sausage, but also the gravy that's on top, beautiful. Like nice and salty and flavorful, really brings a burst of flavor into your mouth. Let's try these potatoes, garlic mashed potatoes. That's good stuff right there. And we'll try some peas in the gravy. Pretty good, just peas. Nothing too special about those, but they are traditional with the bangers and mash. So bangers and mash is sausage and potatoes. This is really good. I would eat this 100% again. Fantastic. Over here at the Italian market, we've got one new item, and that is a mini calzone. Pretty excited to try that one. I also have a returning favorite, that's the Italian cannoli. So I do remember these meatballs being very delicious from last year. And the funny thing that happened was my friend ordered a calzone, but they gave the last one to me. So they're like, sorry, we're out. It'll be like 10 minutes. So they gave me meatballs instead. But here's my calzone. Looks pretty good. Looks very crispy. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> it's a bit chewy. Pretty flavorful though. It is a cheese calzone. So there's not like much to describe there. Cheesy Italian seasoning, ricotta and mozzarella. It is good, but that that crust was 
chewier than I thought it was gonna be. So over here at the North American Market, we got one new thing, the Boston Cream Pie. Ooh. I don't know, I've used all my punches, so, and I'm very full actually at this point because we ate a lot of stuff. So I think we're gonna skip out on this. We can come back on a different occasion and try some more of the new items, but we're gonna look at what there is. There are some fried pickles that I might get still, but we'll see when we get there. We're making our way up to the front of the park. Polynesian Market is next. Return, oh, this is the ahi tuna poke nachos, a returning favorite of the smoked lamb ribs. Mmm, this actually sounds pretty good. Hawaiian slaw, pickled red onions, barbecue sweet and sour sauce, and sesame seeds. All right, we've made it over to the All-American Market, and this is where the fried pickles are. They're new, but also, what is cannonball chicken wings? I'm gonna have to ask them about this. But Texas petal sauce, that's a blooming onion, right? There are the fried pickles. Looks pretty good. We'll have to see, Nick got them. We'll do a little taste test. I'm excited. Should I do it right now? Yeah, let's see it. Ooh, the sauce has a kick to it. it tastes like it has horseradish. They're not very crispy. Oh, that's because they're pickle spears. Yeah, but they might have been sitting here for a minute. Okay. But they're good, the lighter flavor. I love a fried pickle. Yeah. Coming up on the French market, we've got all new stuff. This is an all new booth. You got duck confit, escargot, and a mini creme brulee. So as we're getting closer and closer to pipeline, veggie market is out here. And we tried this taco about it. A vegan option available. This is just a vegetarian option but they do have a vegan option for you. And then vegged out sandwich, soybean chicken patty, brioche bun, green goddess, and arugula and tomato. These sound pretty good, a little fruit tart. Lime, mango, dairy-free vanilla, custard, and lavender. Ooh, that sounds good except for the lavender part. We were thinking about riding Pipeline, but it seems to be down at the moment. So they did evacuate the ride, so it's not looking good for us getting on this coaster tonight. I don't think it'll be happening. Came across the Caribbean market, the Caribbean market, and we've got Jamaican jerk chicken slider, the mojo pork tostones, and a rum cake. It should also be noted that these booths are only open Thursday through Sunday through May 19th. Another booth, the Brazilian market, the picanha steak, galanjada, galanjada, the marinated chicken thighs with saffron rice, and the Brazilian cheese bread. Yes, love it. I'd be interested to try this the next time that I come. It sounds good. And this looks good. All right, that is all of the booths that I we found. And like I said, we'll definitely have to be back to try some other stuff because we are stuffed at this moment. But I wanted to try to head back towards the Penguin area to see if we can see Penguin Trek, which is a new roller coaster that's opening this year. Not anywhere complete, but I want to see if we can see some of the construction on it. Yeah, just a little sneak peek of it right through the trees here. Let's make our way around and see if we can see any more of it. Wow, yeah, we're like seeing lots of it here, okay. This is a lot of coaster track. We're not anywhere near like Penguin Trek, the entrance. Oh yeah, we'll definitely have to come out here during the day. Have a look at this. Well, this is awesome because they give you a park map and they say, you are here and Penguin Trek's gonna be here. So like it comes all the way up. It's gonna be a spring, right? Goes over by Kraken, goes all the way up to Sea Lion and uh, Sea Lion Point. Goes all the way over to like Journey to Atlantis. Manta's over here. Wow, this is amazing. We came into the gift shop on the way out and they've got quite a few lounge flies. Oscar the Grouch, I love it. Also this Cookie Monster one, fantastic. This Clyde and Seymour one is really good though. This caught my eye on the way out because it doesn't make any sense to me. Banana tea? Because it's yellow? I think so. Really, like this More to Love one for a walrus, good idea. I'm the turtle package, great. The seal of approval, great. Banana tea? <laughs> Nailed it. What does it say? Cereal chiller. Oh my goodness. A little bit of a risque there. I like this one. These are nice. I like this this denim one. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh no, pipeline started running right. Just look at how, look at us. There's literally a sign there that says park exit. Come on. Let's go back. We did it. We're going on to Pipeline. We did it, we were able to ride Pipeline twice before the park closed. Fantastic ride. Nick's first time, yeah, rode it I, twice. I got tears in my eyes both times. I don't know if it was the wind or emotions, but either way, very good experience. It was windy emotions. <laughs> All right, that was our trip out to SeaWorld for the Seven Seas Food Festival. Fantastic trip. Like it was such a highlight ending with Pipeline. It's such a fun roller coaster. The food that we had, we had a lot of good food. We had a lot of okay food but I'm glad that we tried all of it. It was very enjoyable coming out here and trying different types of food, different foods from different regions, and just like experiencing food. It's a fun way to try new things or to try new flavors, to experience new things without, you know, getting an entire meal. So, 
I don't know, we will definitely be back to try some more of the food items. It was great to be back at SeaWorld. It's been a while since we've been at SeaWorld, so. All in all, it was a fantastic day. I wanted to say thank you to SeaWorld for having us out and providing a lanyard for us. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Hi, my name is Bella from Theme Park Workshop, and now it's time to pay the price.